Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. We are studying class 11 physics chapter 3 that is motion in a straight line. Now today let us start with a new topic that is called braking distance. Right? When brakes are applied to a moving vehicle, suppose uh, we are uh, in a moving vehicle and if we apply brakes, the vehicle will not stop at the same point when we are applying the brake. So it will move a little distance before it stops, right? So we say that when brakes are applied to a moving vehicle, the distance it travels before stopping is called the braking distance. Now let us uh, now let us uh, obtain the formula for the braking distance. Now let the distance traveled by the vehicle, that is uh, the braking distance, before it stops after application of brakes be ds and v0 be the initial velocity with which the object is traveling v will be the final velocity obviously uh, as per common sense what will be the final velocity always because the vehicle is stopping so final velocity will always be zero and a be the acceleration so now from equation of motion we all know that uh, we have derived three equations of motions let us take any one v square minus v0 square equals to 2ad. Here displacement instead of s I have written d. Now let us put final velocity as 0. So you can see over here instead of final velocity I have kept 0 minus v0 square equals to 2 into minus a. Now why I have kept minus a? Because the velocity is slowly reducing and then the vehicle is stopping so that means it is not acceleration it is retardation so instead of a i have kept minus over here so that is for retardation and d is replaced by ds that is the braking distance right now negligible uh, zero will be negligible so i'll be uh, removing that minus v0 square equals to minus I am taking forward minus 2ad s minus minus I am cancelling and then let us take this 2a on the other side so we will get ds on one side so finally our formula for breaking distance is ds equals to v0 square upon 2a what is v0 it is initial velocity what is a that is acceleration but here in this case it is retardation Clear? Now what is the use of braking distance? The use of braking distance is that we have to set speed limits at some special places like near schools. Near schools and hospitals as well you may find there is a board nearby the road that drives slowly or there might be a speed limit right don't go above 30 km per hour or 20 km per hour such speed limits are set in accordance with the braking distance clear now based on this braking distance concept let us see a question a scooterist in moving with a speed at 36 km per hour sees an obstacle which is 35 meter away from him now seeing the obstacle he quickly applies the brake and due to this retardation of 2 meter per second is produced now would he be able to avoid the accident or he will collide with that obstacle. Now let us make the list of what is given from the question. Initial velocity is given but that is in kilometer per hour. So 36 kilometer per hour must be converted into meter per second. So that is 10 meter per second. Final velocity obviously as the vehicle is stopping at the end we will keep 0. Retardation that is negative of acceleration minus 2 meter per second square because the velocity is reducing we will take it as minus and distance traveled till stopping which is the braking distance is ds now you just have to apply the formula in the solution if the ds comes out to be less than 35 meter that means the scooterist will stop before the obstacle so accident will be avoided if the braking distance is more than 35 or equals to 35 accident cannot be avoided he or she will be colliding with the obstacle so solve it and 
tell us the answer in the comment section moving to the next topic that is motion under gravity now two cases is to be taken care of either the object will be falling from a height or we are throwing the object upwards right so if the object is falling it is moving downward and if we are throwing by force the object is moving upward right so if the object is moving downward it is falling under the effect of gravity but if the object is moving upward we have given force which is against the gravity right so what is free fall motion of any object or any body towards the earth without any external force is called free fall don't forget if there is no external force only one force is there that is the force of gravity and also we have to neglect the air resistance so if you neglect the air resistance all object falls with the same velocity and acceleration towards the earth so the acceleration with which a body is falling in free fall is called acceleration due to gravity it is denoted by small g its value average value is taken same throughout the earth which is 9.8 meter per second square now if the object is falling freely we will replace a with g in the equations of motion so you don't have to depend on the value of a you will just put the value of g that is 9.8 but remember when the object is freely falling if it is move going upward instead of g you will have to put minus g because the object which is moving upward gravity will be acting downward so against so g will be negative clear now important point to note is when the body falls under the action of gravity velocity is increasing so g is positive when the body is thrown vertically upward the velocity decreases and value of g is taken negative when the body is just dropped initial velocity will be taken as zero and talking about the units velocity is always meter per second acceleration or retardation meter per second square and distance is always in meters right now we will stop this video with two practice questions that you will be solving in your notebook which is based on the free fall and equations of motion let us discuss the question ball thrown vertically upward right so what you will do you will take g negative with a speed of 19.6 meter per second that is the initial velocity from the top of the tower which will return to the earth in 6 second so upward plus downward total time is 6 second you have to find the height of tower apply your mind i'm sure you will get the answer second question an object is thrown vertically upward with velocity of 20 meter per second from the top of a multi story building the height of the point from where the object is thrown that means the height of building is 25 meter from the ground how high will the object rise if it is thrown with the velocity of 20 meter per second and also you have to find out how long will it be in the air before the ball hits the ground before the object is hitting the ground right so time and height that you have to find so try this if in case you have any doubt we will keep the solution till then take care thank you